going on everyone mario here with auto ds in today's video i'm going to be talking about one of the most lucrative platforms that you can start drop shipping on it's lucrative as hell on top of that i'm going to show you how to get started pretty much for free there is a tiny little fee but honestly it's negligible i'm just going to tell you straight up right off the bat it's about one dollar but you don't even have to pay that up front so just bear with me so what platform am i talking about well, I'm pretty sure if you saw the thumbnail on the title, then you know very well that I'm talking about Amazon. So today's video is going to focus on how to get started dropshipping on Amazon for free. Now, one of the biggest problems with Amazon is the fact that people don't necessarily know how to actually start selling on Amazon. And I'm not talking about dropshipping from Amazon using them as one of your suppliers. I'm talking about actually selling on the platform itself. A lot of people don't necessarily know exactly what you need to do to get started or a lot of other people actually think you need a massive budget because all they hear about is Amazon FBA. You need to hold inventory. You need to pay for your space. And I'm here to tell you right now, right off the bat with drop shipping, that is not at all the case. Now, while I am going to show you how you can get started for free, I'm also later on in the video going to give you a way that you can start with a smaller budget that can actually help you scale a lot faster. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you've been wanting to learn how you can get started dropshipping on Amazon, then make sure to check out this video all the way through and make sure to comment down below the hashtag Amazon dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. So that way you can gain access to our invaluable cheat sheet filled with all of the information that I'm going to be giving you in today's video, along with a bunch of extra tips, tricks and links. So if that's something that you're interested in, let's go ahead and comment down below the hashtag Amazon dropshipping along with your takeaway from the video and I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, how does selling or drop shipping work on Amazon? Well, it's going to be kind of different depending on what you do. So if you decide to just sell on Amazon and have your own products, then you are going to have to order inventory and either keep it yourself and ship it out as you get orders, or you can ship it in bulk to Amazon and have them fulfill your orders for you. In that case, you're going into Amazon FBA or fulfilled by Amazon. Now, regardless of which one of those two you decide to do, if you start selling on Amazon with your own products, then you are going to have to take time out of your day to be able to ship out all of these different products. Aside from that, you're also going to need some more startup cash to be able to actually buy these products up front. Now, if you decide to ship them over to Amazon and have them fulfill it, it's pretty much the exact same thing, except you are saving a little bit more time. Now, the only difference is you're going to have to be paying for one, the space that you're essentially renting over at the Amazon FBA Fulfillment Center, and you're going to have to be paying for the items that you order in bulk. Because when you send it over to Amazon, you're not going to be sending over one or two products. You're going to send them probably a pallet or a box or a few boxes. Aside from that, there's also Amazon Handmade. So you can sell on Amazon Handmade products, but you do need to be approved and you do need to have a professional account along with actually making the products yourself, which, as we all know, takes a lot of time. Then there's also Amazon Merch on Demand, which is pretty much Amazon's version of print on demand. But for that, you also need to get approved. And I've actually applied quite a few times. And for whatever reason, I keep getting denied. So my personal opinion, if you're going to go with print on demand, just check out the AutoDS print on demand section. Now, what we're going to be doing, Amazon dropshipping. So we're going to be dropshipping products on the Amazon platform. Now for this, we don't need to purchase any inventory up front. We don't need to fulfill any orders ourselves. And we don't need to send anything to any Amazon warehouses. With Amazon dropshipping, what we're going to be doing is simply placing our orders with our suppliers the moment that we get our order. So it's pretty much the way traditional dropshipping works where you're going to receive an order from your store let's say you sell a pair of shoes for a hundred dollars then once you get that order you're going to go to your supplier place an order with them and you're going to pay maybe fifty dollars for those shoes that supplier is then going to fulfill the order send that item out to your customer and then the remaining fifty dollars are your profit that's pretty much dropshipping in a nutshell but what makes amazon stand out when it comes to all of the other platforms well a couple of different things for one it's Amazon. The reputation behind Amazon is just absolutely phenomenal. Everyone knows about Amazon. Everyone shops on Amazon. Anything that you find on Amazon, people are going to trust to make that purchase. But besides that, one of the other biggest benefits, if not the biggest benefit, has to be the buy box. This is the biggest advantage that you have when you're drop shipping on Amazon. Now, the buy box is a bit competitive, but if you can find the right supplier with the right priced products, then you can go ahead and beat everybody. Did you know that over 80% of sales come from the Amazon buy box? Now, right now you're probably thinking, what is the buy box? Well, let me show you. So this is our product page over at Amazon. Well, it's not my product page, but it's something that I was actually gonna buy. But this right here, 
the subscribe and save, all of this information right here. This box right here, this is the buy box. This is what you need to enter. Now, how do you enter it? Well, just stay tuned because in a little bit, I'm gonna explain everything that you need to know. But in a nutshell, pretty much when somebody clicks on add to cart, the item that's gonna be added to cart isn't gonna be one from one of the other competitors. It's gonna be yours, the winner of the buy box. Now, if you look down here, you're gonna see other sellers on Amazon. So if you click on this, you're gonna see other people that are selling the exact same product. Some people are selling it new, some people are selling it used, but all of these are not the winners of the buy box. The winner of the buy box is the one that is added to your cart once you click on add to cart. Aside from that though, a few other advantages that you have to drop shipping on Amazon, for one, like I said, is the reputation. Amazon's reputation is something that's gonna always follow them and overall, everyone trusts Amazon. Oh, I trust them to the end of the earth. Now, because of that, you also have a massive user base. Like I said, everyone uses Amazon. Everyone knows about Amazon and everyone trusts Amazon. So a lot of people, if not the majority of pretty much everyone, especially in the US, is shopping on Amazon. Now, because there are so many people that are just naturally going to the Amazon website, that means your products are gonna get free organic traffic. So you don't have to pay for advertising. While it will help if you can put a budget behind your products and be able to market them or have any sponsored posts, it's not necessary. And finally, with dropshipping on Amazon, you really have the option to test as many products as you want. As long as you follow what I'm gonna show you in today's video, then you're gonna be able to test all of the different products and see what works and what doesn't. If something doesn't work, then that's perfectly fine. You can either leave it on there or maybe change the price or just fully remove it and replace it with a different product. At the end of the day, you're not gonna be losing anything. And with that comes the last benefit, it's a very, very low risk business model. Dropshipping in general is a very low risk business model that can potentially get you some pretty high rewards. Now, how do you get started dropshipping on Amazon? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to create an Amazon Seller Center account. Doing this is super easy. Honestly, all you have to do is go to the Amazon Seller Center website, which will be linked in the cheat sheet and just sign up with your regular Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, go ahead and create one and then sign up with that. So here, what I'm doing is simply creating my Amazon account. Then I got to put in the one-time password that's being sent to me. All right, once that's done, the next thing we need to do is actually apply. Now for this, we are going to have to go through a full-on application process, which could potentially also include an interview. So for this, there are a few things that you're gonna need. For one, you're gonna need a valid government ID. You're also gonna need a recent bank or credit card statement, a valid credit or debit card where they can charge your account and a mobile phone. So once we have everything ready, let's go ahead and click on begin. Gonna go ahead and select your business information. So select your country. In my case, it's United States, business type, none, I'm an individual, just gonna be selling under my own name. Go ahead and confirm and agree. And then you're gonna have to submit all of your personal information, including uploading your bank account or your credit card statements and uploading your uh, valid ID. Now, after all of that, you are gonna have to wait to get approved and you might get an email from Amazon saying that you need to interview with them or you need to have a sort of one-on-one -on -one call with them. Now, once all is said and done and you're finally approved, the next thing you're gonna have to do is select your selling plan. This is where you're gonna start differentiating between the free route and the paid route. So if you wanna go the free route, then I suggest going with an individual plan. When you get an individual plan, you are not gonna to have to pay any monthly fees, but what you are gonna to have to pay is $1 per transaction. So every single time that you make a sale, Amazon is gonna charge you $1 for that sale. Now, when is it best to upgrade to a pro plan? Well, honestly, when you're up to making 40 sales every month. Once you're making 40 sales a month consistently, then at that point, I would suggest going ahead and upgrading your plan to the professional. Also, once you upgrade your plan to a professional account, then you're also gonna have the option to be able to link your account to something like AutoDS, where you're gonna be able to automate your entire dropshipping process from pretty much start to finish. Aside from that though, with an individual plan, one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that when you do have an individual plan, Amazon is gonna set your shipping rates. So you're not gonna be able to change those, those are gonna be set. But once you do upgrade to a professional account, then you're gonna have the option to be able to change all of these different settings. You're gonna have a bit more freedom and overall, you're gonna have more resources at your disposal. So once you have your individual account and you're approved on Amazon, then the next thing you need to do is start looking for products. Now, how are we gonna look for these different products? Well, remember, what we wanna do in this case is we wanna enter the buy box and we wanna be the winners of the buy box. How do we do this? We need to have a better offer than anyone else. We need to beat them in terms of pricing and usually in terms of shipping, but mostly we need to beat them in terms of pricing. 
So the first thing we need to do is find a product that we're actually eligible to sell. We're not gonna be eligible to sell every single product on Amazon, unfortunately. And if you see something that is shipped by Amazon Prime, just automatically disregard that. We're not gonna be selling that product because we're not gonna be able to compete with Amazon Prime shipping. And at that point, the winner of the buy box is actually Amazon, and they're not gonna let anybody else take that from them. So this is what we need to do. The first thing we need to do is go on over to amazon.com and click on this little sandwich bar all. Then we need to look for new releases. This is my favorite and probably easiest method to find these different types of products that you can start drop shipping directly on Amazon. Now from here, we need to find something generic, something like these floor lamps. I've seen these all over Alibaba and TikTok and everywhere else, or something like this pop-up bathroom sink drain. This is actually really cool. It's five gallon water dispenser or even this cordless paint sprayer. So what we're looking for here really is going to be generic products or products that aren't branded necessarily like Nike, Disney, Apple, things like that. Always staying away from that. Now, ideally, what we want to do is look for a product that we can sell for at least two to two and a half times the price. Aside from that, generally speaking, we also do want to sell products that we can sell over twenty five to thirty dollars. Now, this is where things are going to start taking a little bit of time because we are going to need to start conducting product research. So let's check out a few of these different products. Let's go ahead with these solar lights. I really like those. Actually, you might cut them for my own house and these under cabinet lights, which I remember at one point were in our top products section. And now look at them here on Amazon. And let's see, let's check out this ice cube tray for tumblers or really for Stanley tumblers. And let's check out the paint sprayer. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our product listing, which is the one that we want to check to see if we can sell. So I want to see if I could sell these solar lights. Now, the first thing I need to do is make sure that I actually can sell these before I start looking for my supplier. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here and I'm going to get the ASIN number or I can just go ahead and take this right here. Go ahead and copy that. Or if you don't find it there, then you can simply just search. In my case, it's control F because I'm using Windows and look up ASIN and then you're gonna see it right here as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that number, we're gonna run over to our Amazon Seller Center and we're gonna go to add products. So once we get to this page under list our products, what we're gonna do is under keywords, we're gonna go ahead and paste our ASIN and we're gonna click on submit. So this is the product that we wanna sell and here we can see whether or not we can sell it. So if you have to apply to sell, then we can just completely disregard that. We're not gonna be doing that. What we need to do is select a condition, click on new and unfortunately this one we can't sell. So we are gonna have to apply to sell this but again like i said we're not going to be doing this we're not going to be applying to sell anything so on to the next actually i just noticed this remember how i said that we're not going to be selling or trying to sell anything that is actually offered by amazon prime because they're always going to be the winners of the buy box well this is amazon prime sorry i didn't notice that and actually the same goes for all of the other ones so let's just keep looking for more products all right, so after I did a bit of digging and looking through a few different listings, I found a few different ones. And one that caught my attention is actually this reading light that doubles as a bookmark. Now, this one is being sold for about $15.99. Let's see how much we can source it for. But first, let's see if we can sell this. So let's go ahead and copy that ASIN number, run back over here on Seller Center, paste it and submit. Now, so far it's looking promising because it's saying sell this product instead of apply to sell. So select a condition, we're always gonna sell this new and we can sell it. All right, so now what we need to do is click on sell this product in order to add it to our store. But what we need to do before this is make sure that we can offer this at a better price than anybody else and still make a profit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our Amazon listing. We're gonna go ahead and right click and search images with Google. I'm gonna see if I can find a supplier for this. Now I'm gonna choose my image and let's see if we could find it on AliExpress for $2.76. All right, so it wasn't these $2.76, it's actually $5.52, but it has free shipping. So can we beat this seller's pricing? They're selling it for $15.99 with free delivery, and we're able to source it for $5.52. So Amazon, on average, their fees are gonna be about 15%. Now, aside from those 15%, we also need to take into consideration the dollar that we're gonna be paying each time we make a sale. So we said we can source this for $5.52. Now, adding in our fees, let's go ahead and add our... 15% fee, which is going to be times 1.15. So in total, it's going to be $6.34 plus $1. So in total, we're going to be spending about $7.35 for each one of these products. 
Now, if we sell it at the same price that this person is selling it, they're selling it for $15.99 minus $7.35. We're gonna be making a profit of about $8.64. So if we undercut them by maybe one or two dollars, then we are gonna be making a couple bucks less in profit, but we're gonna be able to potentially win that buy box and we're gonna be able to get a lot more sales. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sell this product. Now from here, we need to fill out a bit more information. The SKU, we don't have to worry about. The quantity, how many do we have? Well, this is gonna be very dependent on our supplier. Here, it's not giving us a limit to how many they have. Oh, here it is. They have, they have more than enough available. So as far as quantity, let's just go ahead and do 200. Now our price, how much did we say that we were gonna undercut them by? About one to $2. They were selling it for $15.99. So we're gonna go ahead and sell it for $13.99. The condition is gonna be brand new. Fulfillment is gonna be, I will ship this item myself. So we're not gonna have Amazon fulfill it. We're not gonna do fulfilled by Amazon. This is gonna be us or rather our supplier fulfilling this order. But as far as Amazon's concerned, it's us. And finally, where do you want to sell? So typically when you apply to sell on Amazon and you have access to everything, you can sell in three different places. It's going to be the US, Canada, and Mexico. Really, I like to keep it at only the US. It just makes things a lot easier for me. From there, all we have to do is click on save and finish. And that's all there is to it. Listing is in review. Now we just gotta wait. Now, one thing that's worth noting when you're drop shipping on Amazon or you're using this method and going to win the buy box is that you're not gonna be able to change anything when it comes to the title or the description. The shipping templates you're gonna be able to change once you have a professional account. But as far as the actual listing details, you're not gonna have access to change any of that. So all of that is gonna stay exactly the same as it's shown here. So whatever Amazon has recorded under that ASIN, that's what's going to stay on there. And honestly, that just makes it that much easier because we don't have to come up with titles, descriptions, and all that fun stuff. Now, did you realize the mistake I made? Because I didn't until now. So I actually chose a similar product rather than the exact same product. Now, this is the one that I chose, and this is the one that I imported. Now, if you notice, they are similar, but they're not the exact same thing. So always, always, always make sure to verify that the product that you're importing is the same product. So I did a bit more digging and I came across this, this hydrogen water bottle. Now this one typically is running for $39.99. Right now it's on sale for $31.95, but it is gonna go back up to its regular $40 price. Now I used the same exact method I did earlier, right click, search images with Google, and I came across this one. So this one's running for $23.56. If you've seen my prior product videos, you know I always go by the retail price rather than the sale price, but looking through all of the other listings, every single one of these is running below $24. So I feel confident in saying that we're gonna be able to find this product at this price pretty much at any time. But there are a few things that we can do to safeguard us just in case the price does go up. So that way we don't lose any money or lose any profits, but a little bit more on that later. So pretty much what I did was the exact same thing. I went over to my Amazon seller center. I included the ASIN and I submitted the information to enter the buy box. So once you get your first Amazon order, the next thing you're gonna have to do is actually place that order yourself with your supplier. So let's say we sold one of the hydrogen water bottles. We're gonna have to come over to AliExpress, go ahead and add to cart and then have it shipped directly to our customer. So we're gonna put our customer's information, which is going to include their name and address instead of shipping it to ourselves and then shipping it to them. Now that's pretty much everything that you need in order to get started selling or drop shipping on Amazon for free, or at the very least for $1 whenever you get a sale. So again, you don't have to pay anything until you actually make a sale. Same thing goes for anything else in drop shipping, right? You don't have to pay anything until you get that sale and then you have to order your product. In this case, you get a sale, your product is ordered, and then you have to pay the extra $1 for the individual plan. But once you do upgrade to the professional account, then you are able to upgrade and you can actually connect your account to an automation system like AutoDS. Now, right now, if you're not signed up just yet, you can get started with AutoDS for just $1 for the next two weeks and you can enjoy all of the benefits of automation and everything else that we have to offer. Now, what we need to do is simply connect our account. So here, what we're gonna do is click on up here. If you're new, it's gonna say add store. If you're not, it's gonna give you your store name. And then once you click on it, you'll be able to add store. Once you do that, you're gonna click on Amazon store, go ahead and continue. Again, this is once you're able to upgrade to the professional plan and you can start to put a budget behind your business. Now, once you're on here, all you have to do is click on I direct Amazon and confirm. And then your account will be automatically connected from Amazon to AutoDS. Now you can go ahead and start automatically importing different products and most importantly, of all automatically fulfilling your orders now just so you know any of the products that you find on the marketplace the private suppliers 
or the handpicked product sections. If you want to upload them to your Amazon store and enter the buy box, you're going to have to have an ASIN. So regardless of what happens, regardless of whatever products you want to add to your Amazon store, you are going to need an ASIN. So what you can use the handbrake product section for or any of the trending products or overall in general our marketplace, you can use it for product research and for ideas. So that we can start looking up different products on Amazon to see if you're eligible to sell them. Take, for example, something like this wireless car polisher. Let's go ahead and right click search images with Google. Ooh, we can see that on Amazon. This is actually running for pretty, pretty big, $145. And it's not Amazon Prime. All right, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna check this out really fast. So from here, let's go ahead and take that ASIN. Let's run back over to our Amazon Seller Center. Go to Add Products, paste in the ASIN, submit. And can we sell it? Please, 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 please. We could sell it. So what we need to do now is instead of going to sell this product, we're gonna do it directly from AutoDS. So what we're gonna do is simply click on Import. Again, it's gonna ask us for ASIN go ahead and paste that in there click on done and then it's going to be uploaded to our draft section once it's in our drafts we can go ahead and click to edit now just like before the title the description and all that stuff we can't change that but what we're here for is to be able to change our selling price so how much do we want to sell this for these people were selling it for 145 dollars i'm not going to sell it for that much i'm going to see if i can sell it for let's say our fees how much did we say our fees were on amazon on average we said it was 15 percent. then our dollar amount well we have a professional account so we don't have to worry about that and how much do we want as a profit let's say I want to make 60% profit. So that means I can sell my product for about $84.63 and make a $27 profit. So let's just go ahead and round this off to 99. And you know what? Let's keep it at that. $84.99. Oh, just so you know, what happened here is... I set my fees to 15% and I set my profits to 60.69. Now there was also this extra dollar profit. So I'm going to take that off. Now what's happening here is AutoDS is calculating our profits for us. So if we're buying it for $44 and 77 cents and we have a 15% selling fee for whatever platform or whatever fee that we're paying, then this 15% is not going to be included in our profit. This profit calculation is only including this 6136. But the selling price, it does include the 15%. The reason it's not up here is because fees aren't profit. That's going to come out of our pocket and we're going to have to pay that. So we're not taking that into consideration as our actual profit. So in total, selling it for $84.99, we're going to be making a profit of $27.47. And whatever 15% fee we have to pay, that's already excluded from our profits. So we don't have to do the math and take that into consideration. It's all done for us. Now click on save and then simply click on save and import. And that's going to be automatically imported to our Amazon store. Now here we have our Temkin 12 volt wireless car polisher and we have one available supposedly we're going to be buying it for $44.77 and selling it for $84.99 making a profit of $27.47 now here we can go ahead and check out our amazon listing as well as our supplier now remember how i said that we need to safeguard ourselves from prices going up and that there's actually something that we can do that we really don't have to pay much attention to well, with AutoDS, you have price and stock monitoring. So whenever you have a product that goes up in price, then you can go ahead and set your settings on AutoDS for your suppliers to increase the price as well, whether it be to match the percentage that it was increased by or to simply stop selling it altogether. Now, why would you want to stop selling it altogether? Maybe the price goes up way too high and nobody's going to be buying it or Maybe they just simply run out of stock and you don't have another supplier to source your product from. But at the end of the day, regardless of whether or not you want to increase the price or just stop selling it altogether, AutoDS gives you the option to automatically update your product listings for you. Not only will it update the pricing, it'll also update the stock. So if your supplier actually runs out of a particular product, AutoDS will update your inventory accordingly. Now, whenever you do get a sale, it's going to come here to your orders page. Once it's on your orders page, you can set it to automatically be ordered from your supplier. Now, in order to do this, you are going to have to be subscribed to FBA and not fulfilled by Amazon, but fulfilled by AutoDS. So what happens in this case is up here, you have a balance. This balance you can top up and whenever you get an order, AutoDS will use that balance to make the purchase on your behalf and then fulfill that order for you. From there, that order will be updated on this same screen and it'll tell you whether the item has been ordered or it's been shipped or if it's been delivered. Now, if for whatever reason there's any issue, like in my case, I actually had an issue with one of my suppliers, it will come up as error. But typically that doesn't really happen. The only times that I've seen it happen is whenever my supplier decides to discontinue that product and I don't have stock monitoring turned on. Now that you know how to get started dropshipping on Amazon, the next thing that you need to do is really provide the best possible customer service. 
People go on Amazon expecting very good customer service and pretty speedy shipping. Now, as long as we're transparent about our shipping policies and that it could potentially take more than a few days, then people are gonna be okay with it. But you always need to make sure that you have exceptional customer service. This is something that goes through pretty much any business. You need to have good customer service, especially if you wanna have returning customers or happy customers. Now, if you provide bad customer service, you're gonna have bad reviews and you're not gonna have people shopping from you again. And this in itself shows us why we need to have good suppliers and why we need to look for suppliers that have good communication, good reviews, and are just overall good quality. If we have a supplier that's gonna take more than one day to get back to us, that means it's gonna take us more than one day to get back to our customers if they ask a question that we don't know. So if our customers ask us a question and we don't know the answer, we're gonna to have to reach out to our supplier who is then gonna to have to reach back out to us and then we're gonna to have to relay that information to our customer. It's kind of like a little chain where if one takes a long time, it's really just gonna start setting everything back. So let's say your supplier takes one day to get back to you, it's gonna take you a day and a little bit to get back to your customer, simply because you might not see that email immediately or you might see it a little bit afterwards and you're still gonna have to relay that information to your customer. So at the end of the day, it does take a little bit longer. So make sure that you have suppliers that are gonna get back to you as quick as possible. And you as well need to provide that really good customer service to your customer. Be understanding to any issues that they may have and make sure you help them out as much as possible. A little bit of good customer service goes a long way. So as you saw, getting started with Amazon is not that hard. It's actually pretty easy to get started dropshipping on Amazon. It just will take a little bit of work because you do need to do some proper product research and make sure that you're entering buy boxes. Again, I cannot reiterate this enough. Over 80% of sales on Amazon come from the buy box. So you really wanna make sure that you're in there. You really wanna make sure that you win that buy box and provide the best offer you can. Aside from that though, if you can put a little bit of a budget behind your business, then you can really start streamlining everything such as your product importing and your order fulfillment. But if you're looking to just get started and really just test the waters, then you can definitely get started for free. It's just gonna take a little bit of extra work. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag Amazon dropshipping and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it this far. If you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. I wish you all nothing but success in your dropshipping businesses and I'll catch you all next time.